for the theorem on existence and uniqueness of solutions of differential equations, see Picard's existence theorem. In complex analysis, Picard's great theorem and Picard's little theorem are related theorems about the range of an analytic function. They are named after Emile Picard. The theorems. Little Picard theorem. If a function f cc is entire and non-constant, then the set of values that f assumes is either the whole complex plane or the plane minus a single point. Sketch of proof. Picard's original proof was based on properties of the modular lambda function, usually denoted by lambda, and which performs, using modern terminology, the holomorphic universal covering of the twice-punctured plane by the unit disk. This function is explicitly constructed in the theory of elliptic functions. If f omits two values, then the composition of f with the inverse of the modular function maps the plane into the unit disk which implies that f is constant by Liouville's theorem. This theorem is a significant strengthening of Liouville's theorem which states that the image of an entire non-constant function must be unbounded. Many different proofs of Picard's theorem were later found in Schottky's theorem as a quantitative version of it. In the case where the values of f are missing a single point, this point is called a lacunary value of the function. Great Picard's theorem. If an analytic function f has an essential singularity at a point w, then on any punctured neighborhood of w, f takes on all possible complex values, with at most a single exception, infinitely often. This is a substantial strengthening of the cassirer weir strass theorem, which only guarantees that the range of f is dense in the complex plane. The single exception is needed in both theorems, as demonstrated here. Ez is an entire non-constant function that is never zero. E1, Z has an essential singularity at zero, but still never attains zero as a value. Generalization and current research. Great Picard's theorem is true in a slightly more general form that also applies to meromorphic functions. Great Picard's theorem. If M is a Riemann surface, WA point on M P1 equals C infinity denotes the Riemann sphere and F. M W P1 is a holomorphic function with essential singularity at W, then on any open subset of M containing W. The function F attains all but at most two points of P1 infinitely often. Example. The meromorphic function F equals 1 has an essential singularity at Z equals 0 and attains the value infinity infinitely often in any neighborhood of 0, however it does not attain the value 0 or 1. With this generalization, Little Picard's theorem follows from Great Picard's theorem because an entire function is either a polynomial or it has an essential singularity at infinity. As with the Little theorem, the points that are not attained are lacunary values of the function. The following conjecture is related to Great Picard's theorem. Conjecture. Let U1 un be a collection of open connected subsets of C that cover the punctured unit disk D0. Suppose that on each uj there is an injective holomorphic function fj, such that dfj equals dfk on each intersection uj uk. Then the differentials glue together to a meromorphic one form on d. It is clear that the differentials glue together to a holomorphic one form gdz on d, 0. In the special case where the residue of g at 0 is 0 the conjecture follows from the Great Picard's theorem.